so they um, kind of don't intervene. So, hi YouTube, I'm gonna try to be brief. I always say that I'm gonna try to be brief, but anyway, I just put gas in my car. It cost me $70 to fill up my tank, and the tank on this car that I'm driving now is not that big. So, I mean, for an average car, it's a pretty small tank because I'm driving a hybrid, which switches to battery under certain speeds. And like, if I'm idling, it'll switch to the battery. I'm gonna put my mask up so people won't think I'm sitting here talking to myself. Um, anyway, so all the news is focused on this leak of the SCOTUS opinion on Roe versus Wade. And so many people are acting like they're shocked. I don't, I don't get it. Why are you acting like you're shocked? I mean, I'm not shocked. I pretty much expected this. Of course, it hasn't been reversed yet. So, I mean, that opinion could flip on its head between now and when they're supposed to make the final uh, decision. But... I'm just not shocked, and I just don't understand. I mean, are Americans really that gullible that they weren't expecting this? And yet, I'm supposed to be the one that's from the inferior race, and I wasn't shocked. But, as far as my personal opinion on it, I don't know. I can only speak for myself that I don't think I could ever have an abortion but that's because my head is all mixed up between the fact that in science and school we learned that a cell a single cell is a living organism yet some people feel like a bunch of cells clump together that's going to result in a human being and not and I'm kind of torn I mean I feel as far as the autonomy over my own body feel that's my decision and that should not be in the hands of somebody else especially a man who can't get pregnant and have kids that he can't take care of or doesn't want so to me men need to keep their nose opinions mouths out of it until and you know they want people to keep these babies and we need to find a way to start impregnating men and if they want the kid, transplant it into them. That's how I feel. So, on that one. But I was looking at some other websites, you know, just reading people's blogs about this and came across a couple that gave an interesting uh, speculation. And they were saying that right now it's Roe versus Wade. I mean, one blog that I read, I could tell the guy's leanings because he felt like the next um, Supreme Court decision that needed to be overturned is Loving versus Virginia. And then a couple other blogs were speculating that Loving versus Virginia may become a target of being overturned. Now, for those of you that don't know, Loving versus Virginia, I think that decision was made in 1967. Anyway, it was the one that upheld the legality of interracial marriages. And I shouldn't even say interracial marriages. Black people marry people outside of their race. Because I'm sure it doesn't apply to Asians and Latinos and all the other people that are white adjacent. But it's primarily people that look like me should not be marrying anybody else but just people that look like me. And I'm just thinking, wow, if they were to even consider overturning that one, do you know how many mixed race families there are out there? And what would that say for the kids? They belong to the black parent, not the white parent. I mean, the implications of that, wow, I can't even imagine. 
But I wouldn't be shocked if we become a dictatorship in the not too distant future. The way things are going right now, I'm telling y'all, America has lost its goddamn mind. We are crazy as hell over here. And we need to stop getting into the business of other countries and concentrate on taking care of the mess that we have going on right here. Because I do not have high hopes for this nation at all. At all. Oh well, that's it. On my way to work. Work until 7 p.m. God, I hate this schedule. I really, really, really hate this schedule. And I want to get out of medical, medical work in medical places again. So, all you people out there, please put some good vibes into the universe to help me find something else. I haven't really, I mean, I was looking like applying for jobs every day, but then once I started the radiation, I just kind of stopped because going to radiation in the morning and then having to go straight to work, work until 7, not getting home until almost 8. I just, I'm too tired to even do an interview. I probably look like I'm not interested on the interview. But, when I'm looking to work, I'm looking to see if it's at all possible for me to get for the veterinarian service or in an animal hospital or something like that. Especially now that Pet insurance is a big thing, like medical insurance. It shouldn't be that hard a transition from medical for humans to medical for animals. But I'm just really sick of working with people. I don't like people. People are evil, petty, ridiculous. I'm just, I don't, I'm done. So, that's it. Uh, for the couple of people that may watch this, give me your opinion on this whole SCOTUS fiasco. Just curious to see what you think. And do you think that loving the Virginia could become a target? I mean, I don't know. Especially with the possibility of the Republicans taking over the Senate and the House again. Hmm, interesting to think about. Anyway, I'll talk to you guys later. Have a good day. Stepford Escapee, aka Karen, out.